Hey Jared, this is Steven from Eastside Dodge. Thank you for inquiring about the Grand Cherokee 4xE. And this right here is our Grand Cherokee 4xE Summit. It's gonna be a little walk around tour of some of the features that come on this vehicle. Starting up front, you get full LED lighting. You get parking sensors down the front of the bumper. Your adaptive cruise radar sensor right there, smack in the middle. You're gonna notice satin silver finish on the grill, the lower front bumper, the roof rails, the lower side sills, everything. You also get these beautiful 20 inch snowflake wheels. You get a camera on the front because of course this vehicle is equipped with a 360 camera. So you get a camera on the front as well as the side mirrors and the rear. You get remote starter ports, power trunk lid, keyless proximity entry, full LED lighting in the back. As you see, there's a summit badge. You get dual exhaust outlets. Behind this panel right here reveals a tow hitch as well as your four pin and seven pin harnesses. Maximum towing capacity on this vehicle, 6,000 pounds. You get the four by E badging right there. I'm gonna open the trunk, take a look at that. So back here, you get plenty of space. You get this cargo mat that is rubber on one side and carpet on the other, whichever one you prefer. You get tie downs, of course, on each side. I'm sure you're familiar with that being a previous uh, owner of a 17 Grand Cherokee. Uh, this vehicle is also equipped with the upgraded Macintosh audio system. So you get a nice subwoofer back here. You get a DC plug over here as well. And the seats not only recline, as you see, but they fold down, of course, as being an SUV, revealing tons of room. You also get little Easter eggs such as that showing, I'm not sure if the camera's picking up, but you get different, uh, uh, the, all the four generations of Grand Cherokee prior to this one. And of course, like any Jeep, the Willys Jeep. I'm not sure if you're seeing that right there at the corner. Neat little things. Below this, you get a full-size spare. This is going to be your included plug for the electric system. And you get a little bit of extra storage as well. Going around to the side, of course, this is your... Oh, I believe it's electric. My mistake. This is going to be your electric plug-in. You get blind spot monitoring, auto dimming side mirrors that are also heated. Going to the back. You get ambient lighting, Macintosh audio with the glowing speaker grills, um, sunshades for the rear occupants, center armrest with cup holders. You get this beautiful quilted leather. It's a different grade of leather. It's perforated. It is softer than normal. Back here, you get your own digital HVAC controls. As you see, dual zone back here. So technically this is quad zone. Seats back here are heated. You have your AC vents. You have a 12 volt, three prong household plug over here and USB A's and C's down there as well. Up against the cockpit. If you look above me, this has the dual pane sunroof, panoramic sunroof. You see the ambient lighting going across the dashboard. This vehicle has memory seats, this beautiful stitching. This is a Summit exclusive. This nice grade of wood. I'm going to start up the vehicle, at least in electric mode. <laughs> and you can kind of see, you can get the, the full digital uh, gauge cluster in front of you. Leather wrap dashboard. Right there is the charge indicator. It will glow blue, um, showing you how much it's charged. Um, you also get the interactive front passenger display. It is not on at the moment. I will turn it on here. And as you see from this angle, as a driver, you can't see it. But if you go over, you can see it there. It's done for obvious, uh, um, it's obviously done for safety. Steering wheel is heated and wrapped, of course. Um, you also get wood paneling, the stitching, as I mentioned, you get adaptive cruise. You get a, all these controls for the digital display. Uh, digital gauge cluster rather the seats are massaging uh, they're heated they're cooled um, you get a 10.1 inch screen over here 
surround camera as mentioned you can also use the rear view mirror or sorry rear view camera alone if you choose to do that uh forward facing camera this being a jeep uh even has a washer so if you hit that a little bit of uh washer fluid comes out to spray the camera um, you also get different screens in here this is to do with the uh, the hybrid system and of course you get your usual things you get a home page that you can customize right now it's uh, set at navigation and you have audio there speaking of audio in addition to that uh, that uh, Macintosh upgraded audio system with the glowing speaker grills um, you also get satellite radio free for a year um, you can use Spotify, um, um, YouTube Music, uh, Apple Music, any of that wirelessly because this does come equipped with wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. Um, speaking of wireless, it does have a wireless charger right here and hard controls or hard plugs as well. USB A's and C's times two, a auxiliary plug, an HDMI plug. This will be for the passenger display over there and you get a DC plug as well right there. And you can hide that behind the panel. Uh, getting back to the screen, as I mentioned, um, you have, there we go. You have dual zone climate control up here, heat seats, heat steering wheel, ventilated seats as well. If you can use, you can use these controls right here, simply slide your finger, or if you prefer to use physical controls, they're down here. Factory navigation. Bluetooth, of course. Uh, it is Amazon Alexa capable, and you see it right there. And as you see, the screen is very intuitive. Um, you get off-road pages being a Jeep, all sorts of customization as well. Moving on, the vehicle is equipped with an 8-speed automatic, controlled by this rotary shifter. Uh, it, of course, has the upgrade 4x4 system uh, with rock mold, sand, mud, snow, auto, and sports. You have a low range for the four wheel drive system, hill descent control. You have a, uh, a function here for flat towing. So you, you, but you do need a pin um, if you want to use that function. You have air suspension as well. So you can lower and, uh, uh, lower and raise the ride height. Um, interesting fact, the passenger seat is also memory as well. Uh, getting into the hybrid stuff. Down here to the left of the steering wheel, you have your hybrid mode which uses both gas and electric motors together. That gets your combined output of 370 horsepower, sorry, 375 horsepower, 470 pound-feet of torque. And that torque figure um, is quite up there. Um, to give you an example, it puts out more torque than our uh, 392 or 6.4 liter V8 that's found in say the 392 Wrangler we have on the other side of the showroom over there, right there. Um, moving on, electric mode. Um, I believe you get a maximum of around 40 kilometers on, uh, on electric. Um, so if you have a short commute to work um, or to the grocery store, whatever it may be, uh, technically you don't have to use gas. And then of course, if you want to use the, um, the gas motor exclusively, you can hit e-save and then you're running the two liter four cylinder turbocharged uh, engine. Uh, making 270 horsepower, 295 pound-feet of torque. So it's still peppy, uh, even without uh, um, the hybrid system working together. It has power tilt and tel telescoping wheel. Just a really nice place to be. Now, I know if, you, I know if you've looked at, uh, at an Overland over at Courtesy, um, what you get on the Summit is really just, it's it's the trim. It's the this beautiful interior. Uh, this is exclusive to the Summit, and at this price range, I mean, why not uh, indulge a little bit anyway thank you for watching jared uh, i hope this video wasn't too lengthy or, or anything like that um let me know your thoughts and uh hopefully we can uh, uh arrange for you to come in and and maybe we can work a deal on a, either this one or one of our incoming units thanks again bye now